These are the new type of enemies. You'll be seeing them a little bit. Ah, uh, Sensors. Or the stupid Grim Reaper enemies. These enemies themselves aren't very difficult, but they will have an advanced form, or a uh, mini boss form of them later. That's a freaking pain in the butt. You'll see what I mean when I get to it. Yeah, this is kind of. And they can kill you. I'm gonna go into double trigger right now. Yeah, basically, they block your attacks like nothing else. Okay, good. Yay, they're dead. Yeah, they would have blocked my attacks a lot and I would have yelled at them, and then you guys probably would have laughed at my pain. For some reason, there's little maggots around here. I don't know why that is. But. Whatever. Regardless. It's a carving of the Judge of Death. It looks like the Judge. They're beholding something. Should I use the Staff of Judgment? Yes. It opens a door despite the fact that the Staff of Judgment's kind of in the way of that doorway, so unless the Staff splits in two. Yeah, and we get a B. Not too bad. Um, something about this game is it has the most amount of missions of any Devil May Cry game. That being about 23.5. <coughs> but, thing is, uh, lost my train of thought. Um, oh yeah. But although that is, so. Lost my train of again. Ah. Um, a lot of these missions are actually quite a bit shorter than the ones in 4 and 3. Because this game is about 3 hours long. Th 3 took about 5. And I played through 4 recently and it took me about 7, I think, yeah. And then 2 being the shortest at like 2 hours. But... This is a creepy room with some pretty eerie music and columns that are pulsating. Whatever. Pride of the Lion is granted only to those who choose the Path of Trials. Why we're we even going for this lion thing? I don't know, because I didn't check the lion statue that told me that I needed it to proceed. But, yeah. Now that that door is dead, I'm just saying dead because it kind of got blasted with a laser. Let's go out here, and this is the first little bit of time that we are spending outside the castle after entering it and we're in here for five seconds but no although this is a really weird random room this is actually one of the rooms that you're gonna be coming to the most in this game actually <laughs> no joke because the little later half of this game uh, states go back with the lion heart and thou shalt receive the pride of height well, height whatever. pride of the lion whatever yeah, you actually come back here quite a bit. This is kind of the hub area for the last couple of missions. And we got struck by lightning. What is it with Dante getting struck by lightning? Let's see. Oh, man, we fall. Dante go down the hole. But yeah, first... Oh, this is poison water. Yes, yeah, I say poison water, because... Later in the game, you see that Dante actually can indeed breathe underwater. It's just he can't nap. I'm guessing this water is a Yeah, you're going to be seeing this room quite a bit because if you're anything like me, your platform skills are that hard or anything but spectacular. Because later you do have to actually hop that part. Or, well, you don't have to, but. Because if you fall, you are teleported to the other side, but still, the fact that you do have to hop across there a couple times. And yeah, we get the lion heart. Lion heart. I thought I saw something. Nope, I'm blind. Lion. No, I just see sparkly things right now. Whatever. Let's grab the pride of lion, a sign of the strong. It allows a confrontation with the lion gatekeeper. No. I hate the lion gatekeeper. Whatever. But yeah, it's time to fight the first real boss of this game. 
Phantom! The giant spider. Of lava. I'm guessing. The thing about these bosses is a second. That's what she said. I hope for your sake you got something inside that big body of yours. Okay, I have to say something about the voice acting for this game. It can tend to be really terrible. The monsters is understandable because they're monsters. Like, Dante's voice acting sometimes is really cheesy, and you will see that mainly in the ending. Yeah, pretty much everyone but Dante sounds good in this game. The character who you hear the most has the worst voice. And you know, that was a good thing. The thing about the bosses in this game, though, is you fight every main boss three times. And now there's a church emblem in the background. Really creepy church him, but still church him. I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So you fight Phantom three times, then you kill him. You fight the next guy three times. You fight Nightmare three times. And then you fight another guy three times. And then, even the final boss, Mundus, you fight three times. Yeah, this game likes to... Oh, crap. Sh should have shaved. Yeah. yeah. Well, should have done that, too. I haven't shaved him, but whatever. That's not what I was trying to say. Mission 4, Black Knight. Display one strength to the lion and, obtain and open the path. Acquire the melancholy soul. See, I could get air hike, but it's not really important, and I'm not willing to spend that much freaking money to do a double jump. I'm sorry. But I will buy Stinger, and I'm not spending that much money on a second Stinger. Because you only need one, really. Now, let's buy another blue orb for life insurance. Or health insurance, I guess. Hey, hey, health insurance, whatever. Shut up. Okay, let's move on. Move along. And, da -da, wait. And welcome to Phantom Fight 2. You actually don't have to fight him this time, you just have to get away. And I would suggest getting away because you lose most of your health bar fight. Even if you go into Devil Trigger mode, attack him, you should your health. And just go in here. And that's it. That was the second. That was the entire second Phantom Fight, folks. You can actually kill them and get some, and get uh, quite a bit of uh, orbs if you really feel like it. And senses are, if you really feel like it, I honestly never go for it because it's kind of pointless. Get out of the freaking walls! Yes, this is the Devil May Cry's standard enemy that flies in the walls, so you can't hit them. Whose ranks include those weird angel things in Devil May Cry 3, and the Faust and Mephistos in 4. Thankfully 2 doesn't have anything, at least from what I can remember. I haven't played 2 in a bit. There's an immense power that will not allow one to get any closer. Before I can confront the lion, I need a sign. Shall I use the cry of the lion? Yes. <sighs> When you're ready for a retardedly difficult fight, press X or square three times if you're using setting two. Yeah, you wanna know how difficult this fight is? Unless you're quick, you'll get hit the second the fight starts. As he jumps into the air, spins, and then you have to jump right then, or you'll be screwed over. Now the way I would suggest doing this fight, and yeah, you can boss music is pretty cool actually. Ow. So I would actually suggest standing at a distance and shooting at him. Because no. it's much safer than the alternative. And then as soon as this happens, go into Devil Trigger mode and spam square for your life. 
Even if he's not completely dead, he will be dead in a couple seconds. Because you do actually do damage to him when you're not attacking his core. So just keep so just keep going all out, and then eventually he will fall. Like that. Yeah, he's dead. I make that fight look so much easier than it actually is. My first playthrough of this game, I died to that thing so many times. Because remember, oh, and yeah, here's your reward. Um the lives in this game are the yellow orbs. I have four lives, which means I can start from a checkpoint four times if I die. Then if I die, I have to start my last save. I used I used all those lives three times. No joke. That thing killed me so much. Yeah. Now, what I'm about to do, I'm actually not going to do the correct way. Because technically what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go down, the, uh, jump down there, then do some crap, fight some enemies. Well, I'll show you as soon as I get up here. Which actually, the way I'm doing is kind of speed. Which I actually discovered on complete freak accident. My second time in this game. But yeah. What you're supposed to do is go all the way down there, hit a switch, and then you'll fly up here. But you can just make this jump normally, and you get the death sentence. Decorated... Wait, let me read the description. Decorated the sword used for rituals cannot be used as a weapon. So we get a cool-looking sword that's kind of bonus. But yeah, you're supposed to jump all the way down there, and if you kind of see in the distance, there's an outline. You beat that, you beat up a switch, and you take an elevator up, and you grab the death sentence. But you can just make that jump normally, so there's no need to waste your time. And this is what we needed it for. It's a statue of a female with a melancholic expression. There's an opening to play something, but I thought all women had an opening to play something. If you know what I mean. Should I use a death sentence? Oh yeah, Dante, stick your sword in her. I apologize for the bad sex jokes. Yeah, after sticking your sword in that woman, now your shadow gets up slower than you do. And or your, your, your reflection has a mind of its own right now, I guess. Data or your reflection just walked out of the mirror. That's not weird at all. Ooh, well, it, it's it's a uh, knight of some sort. Oh great! I have to fight this guy in this, this confined was space. The last place I thought I'd find anyone with some guts. Wait, what? He's opening the door. Wait, he's taking me outside so I can fight him in an open area. What? I'm confused. And the door's locked. Yeah. And yeah, just jump up there for some orbs. Again, I would suggest it because you get, take all the orbs you can get in this game. And yeah. Let's just see if I can hit anything. Nope. Okay, let's go in here and let's fight this knight guy that seems to be kind of overconfident that he can beat me. But first, water. Ah, water for the win. Hmm. Where is he? Oh, hello there, buddy. Oh, snap. Epic music time for the win. Yes, we get epic music for this boss fight, because this is Nello Angelo. And please, no spoilers. Uh, those of you that have played this game, no spoilers in the comments. Your comment will be the spoil it. But yes, it is time to fight Nello Angelo. It is... He is the next boss you fight three times, except you actually fight him three times throughout the game. Last time you fight him is mission 18, I think. Oh, 
Why are you making me chase you up there? You're doing fine right now. Oh, you're gonna shoot at me. You're trying to get me while I'm topping up here. Oh, no, no, no. I'm too. Dante's too smart for that. That's just. But yeah, the third. These fights do get progressively. Ow. He, like, just took out, like, half of my health bar. Shot. Which is why they make this fight uh, so. Ow! No, you're not hitting. And now he's going all the way up there. Yeah. Oh, something I forgot to mention about Devil Trigger is that it you actually heal slowly when you're in Devil Trigger, so that's helpful. Ow. I don't want to heal on this fight. I should have to. Unless, of course, he does that. I have never died to that boss in my life. Even when I sucked hardcore at this game, I never ever have died to that boss. I feel insulted now. Yeah. Let's do this again. You know, I just realized you could skip cutscenes. <laughs> I was just messing around and I just realized you could skip cutscenes. I didn't now and I didn't never I never knew you could skip cutscenes. Honestly I didn't. I thought you had to watch the cutscenes. That would have been helpful with my first playthrough when I was like dying to certain bosses so much that I had to keep re-watching cutscenes. Get back here. Yes, no, Angelo, he is probably the most famous boss for this game. Ow. You know, probably this would be easier if I wasn't being so reckless. Oh, whatever. He also is the most awesome sounding boss music out of all the bosses in this game. Whoa! Not cool there, buddy. Not cool, buddy. Yes, definitely take advantage of the boost you get from Devil Trigger. Alright! Beat him! Whoa! Hello there. And now we're fighting in your fist, except he has, like, lightning fist, so that's not fair. Oh, you're dead now, Dante. Wait. Random amulet. It's the amulet from three. And he threw him when he saw it. What is going on? He's like burning up. He's like freaking out from seeing that amulet. And now he caught on fire. And now he's running away. I guess, yeah. Okay. Why did he freak out when he saw the amulet that we won from Virgil? Uh, three. Yeah, I got a D. Whatever. Whatever. And I'm going to it. It's about as long as it took me to get here in my last recording, so at least I'm being consistent. And yeah, this is my other recording file. I got through mission five before my fam was like, Sir, you need to come up here. Oh, no, it's a minute, but... Sir, you need come up here and eat or we're gonna like kill you no they didn't actually say that but yeah they did I have like a family that kills me if I don't eat yeah it's totally what it is Let's buy this purple orb I'm not gonna need it <laughs> this mission's gonna take me all of three minutes but yeah melancholy still activates for some reason it just activated Ah, crap. Yes, yeah, so you have three missions. Oh, three missions to beat this mission. Yeah, that makes sense. You have three minutes to beat this mission. And 
it should take that long to beat this mission, definitely, because the longest part of this mission is actually killing this guy. Especially if you know where to go, which it's not that difficult to find where you're supposed to go on this. Crap. Come on. And he killed himself. Good job, suicidal lion. Yeah, I think that's supposed to happen. Because I have never, ever killed this... Er... Uh, this form of him, I have never fought without him doing that, so... Pretty sure he's supposed to do that. But, whatever. Just hop down here, and go in here. Yeah, see. Now, the rest of this mission is going to take all of, like, five seconds. Just hop down here. Then press B for this door. Uh, use Melancholy Soul, yes. And that's it. That's the end of the mission. All 1 minute 36 seconds of it. See, sometimes there's long missions in this game. Sometimes there's, like, obscenely short ones where I get A ranks. If I would have, uh, taken a little less time on that boss, I probably would have gotten an S rank. I think if you get under 130, I want to say, uh, you get S rank, but don't quote me on that. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna start saving regularly because this is where the game actually starts getting somewhat difficult. Recording like 35 minutes, 45, not 35, 45. Mission six: Evil of the Waterways. And you see that background for the picture. That picture is going, or that guy is going to give me a lot of pain because I hate that guy. By the yellow worm. Defeat the evil guardian and acquire the guiding light. Yeah. Oops, I want to go the other way. There is literally nothing here. Oh, but if you do walk into that wall, you get a blue orb fragment. Which is nice, because I haven't gotten one of those in a while. Because I probably missed a couple. At some point in my life. My life. Yeah, my life. No, at some point. I can I skip this? Yeah, I can. Okay. I'm trying to get as little of these as possible for later. And this is a red orb post. It's the red orb statue of this game. You can eat it up and get some red orbs. Nice. Ah, dang it. Grab it. I don't know. Thankfully, you actually get red orbs from grabbing green orbs in this game. Which is something else they changed in the later games. Uh, I need a rusty key to get in there. Alright. Just check. I am correct. <sighs> yeah. Let's keep on keeping on, I guess. And yeah. Now we're in like this weird room, and this actually will become slightly important later. You'll see why. No spoilers. Ew. Ugh. Seems to make my skin fall. Because they're bugs. I am like afraid of bugs. Like, not even like no one does this. I hate bugs. Especially spiders. Actually, bugs in general. Yeah, if you can actually hit these things with the bullets, it'll, like, take them out, like, nothing. Like, it will, like, just kill them in, like, a couple of hits, like, no one does. But that's provided you can actually hit them, because they fly around really fast. Now, after that, let's just head on in here. Okay, I'm just out here. Again, not required to, I'm just gonna kind of go I feel like running. Sure. Yeah, just if they start sitting there, just pump them full of lead. And they die. You get the rusty key. Nice. Are you used? 
used. I get the rest of key. I have the rest of key. Yeah, if you go in there, there's just a ton of orbs, if I am correct. I don't want the camera with me. Yeah, there's just a ton of green orbs. Which I won't use yet. That'd be kind of wasting it, because I think I have, like, full health. Yeah, I have full health. Which is good, because this part's difficult. It's the next mini-boss fight. It's against the Sin Scissors Mark II. There's two of